YouTube, what is good, baby? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy E Saint. You no longer have to wait. Today, we have a beautiful, wonderful special guest. My beautiful, wonderful girlfriend. Um, what we're doing today is I got this idea from Cut asking each other questions on a very wide range scale of importance and relevance. And we're just trying to see how close our answers are. Or how different. And how, or how different they are. Um, and these questions are very random. And if you guys uh, like this and we get, you know, a good amount of likes, we'll probably we might add this to the rotation every time we see each other. But before we get started, you guys know the rules. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if we make you laugh or smile through for the video. You gotta hit the like button. And uh, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go ahead and get started then. First question is, how did our first date go? Um, okay, let's see. All right, so, um, the date was May 20... Shoot. 5th? May 25th. The first time we met was in uh, my hotel. A little nervous, but it wasn't too nervous. It wasn't too nervous. The connection was kind of there, kind of fast. The first thing that we did is we went on a boat ride. Whatever lake it is right there, so you can see the Chicago skyline. I actually vlogged it, if you guys. Oh, did I vlog? I did vlog it. I actually vlogged it, if you guys want to check it out. It's, 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 a, it's an okay vlog. Um, I thought that the first date went pretty well. I remember I was a little nervous, you know, just because it was the first time we ever met in person, and we went on like this little boat cruise ride in Chicago and I remember we took pictures and I was pretty much terrible at taking pictures of LeBron but he was really good at taking pictures of me. When we were trying to catch the boat we almost missed it uh, so we were running around in circles couldn't find it a stranger helped us uh, find out where it is made it there just in time it was a, it was a nice boat ride um, took some pictures and then afterwards we went to Chick-fil-a she hasn't been to Chick-fil-A. I think that might have been, it might have been her first time going to Chick-fil-A. It might have been. I remember after the boat date, we went to Chick-fil-A, which was like the first time that I went to Chick-fil-A in like a while. And then we got back home to the hotel and the playoffs were on. I don't remember who was playing, but we watched some of the playoffs. That's what we did pretty much every night uh, we saw each other. Um, and yeah, that's how it went. We went back to his hotel. It was the playoffs that we watched, the NBA playoffs. And yeah, I thought that our first date went really well. Um, you know, by the end of the night, I felt really comfortable and I was excited to get to know LeBron more. What's something on your relationship bucket list that you would like to cross off? I feel like I have a few things, but one of them is definitely traveling, like vacation traveling. We travel to see each other but we never traveled with each other. Because we're long distance, anytime that we travel, it's really to just see the other person. So it's not like that much of a vacation. I want to be able to like travel together. And one of the places that I really want to go to, probably like Florida, some type of vacation state where we can do a lot of things without the worries of, I don't know, everyday life. A vacation would be like, we 20. We can do it. I mean, we make money here and there, you know? I mean, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can do that. So going on going, uh, vacation would be nice. Whether it's a road trip, whether we have some type of meetup spot and take a flight together or a cruise or something, I just want to be able to travel and go on a vacation with Laurent. This might take some time, but if we could go to a concert with each other, there has to be the right concert. We're two different types of people when it comes to being entertained by music and spaces like that. Yeah, I like to go on the mods, but I like to turn up a little bit. You guys seen it when I when I did that vlog going to see Lucy Bird. I like to turn up a little bit. She don't like that at all. It had to be the right artist, but a concert, a concert would be very fun. I would, I would enjoy that a lot. Who's more clinky? <laughs> this is actually interesting. So Autumn is clingy more often, but when I have my moments, <laughs> it's like <laughs> I feel like the first answer would be me but I think I'm clingy when I miss Laurent and I miss him because he's not there but when we're actually together and in person I think Laurent is more clingy than I am I may do it less but my moments kind of like cover cover the gap and how often we do it, cause I, when I be doing, when I be doing it, I mean, I, I'm, I'm like, I ain't, I'm a latch, I'm a latch on you, I ain't gonna let go, I'm a like latch. Have you farted in front of your partner yet? 
I don't know what she said. The answer is yes. The answer is, is yes. I don't think I started maybe until March. I think I seen her when I seen her in March. I think I started doing it. So it it took May 2021 all the way to March of 2022 for me to start doing it. Yes, I have. But Laron hurts way more than I do, and usually I try not to fart in front of him. You know, I try to do it in I don't know the bathroom. But he just, he just be farting. <laughs> um, I do it all the time. I think I fart more than the average human being. Um, so when we are literally doing anything. And sometimes he won't even tell me that he farted. And I gotta smell it for my own self. Like, I think that like if you're gonna fart in front of me, at least tell me that you're gonna fart. It's a very unequal balance of who farts in front of the other more. He probably farts like 90% of the time. Has she farted in front of me? I haven't heard her, but yes, she. I don't know what she said, but the answer is yes for her as well. But I just haven't heard him yet, but she has. Actually, earlier today. If your partner were to propose, how would you react? I don't know. <laughs> if she were to propose to me? <laughs> now, <laughs> personally. I, I definitely would be surprised because I wouldn't expect that after a year dating and also we're only 20 and we're long distance and we're both doing stuff with our lives and since school so like <laughs> me personally um if I knew like she was for real and like I knew it was happening I'd run away I'd run away if nobody was around I'd run away I wouldn't give her the opportunity to I wouldn't I would, I would not allow that to happen I would not I would, not, I would leave the facility um um I think honestly I would accept a proposal but we would not be married for like a while like some years <laughs> if there were people around I, I, I oh god I don't even know I don't know that's a good question I don't know I don't know I might still run away or I might pick her up I might pick her up and be like what are you doing where's the camera and then she's like oh I'm for real I mean, it'd be nice, you know, to have an engagement ring. Or how are you gonna skip the promise ring? Like, before the engagement ring. But, I mean, I think overall I would accept the proposal. I'd be pretty shocked and pretty much like, what are you doing? Like, you're crazy, but I guess I'm crazier for accepting it. I don't know what I would do, but I wouldn't, oh God. <laughs> that sounds so mean, but I wouldn't say yes. I would accept the proposal, but we wouldn't be getting married for like a while. And there would probably be people that would probably ask like, when are you guys getting married? And I'm like, oh, soon. And I'm gonna keep saying that for like multiple years. I'd be like, bro, you gotta wait for me. That's me, that's my, me. <laughs> but she wouldn't, she wouldn't do that. I highly doubt she would do that. And if she did, that would be a great prank because it's one of those things where like, I could see her doing it, but then if I really think about it, she wouldn't do that. I don't know. She better never do that. Ever, 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 ever. That's my job. That's me. <laughs> but, yeah. Do you trust your partner's taste in fashion, music, and food? In fashion, yes, I do. For, like, the most part. I think Laurent has pretty good taste in fashion. I would be kind of upset if he didn't say the same for me. Fashion, of course, obviously. You guys see how we dress? That's her. That's her. I play a little bit. Like, she asked me, like, what color you want to do next, and I'll say the color. And then she'll orchestrate the fits and everything. Uh, so fashion for sure. For music, he's more of a rap and I'm more R&B. But we both still listen to both. I'd say yes, but there are some some songs and like some artists that like I don't really care for that he really likes. And I'm pretty sure the same could be applied there. Now music. Now there's two sides to this. There's two sides. Autumn is in the school of music. So when it comes to, you know, Music itself, Autumn is a freaking genius. She 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 produces, she makes tight beats, she does she does she she plays instruments. Autumn's a freaking genius when it comes to the music itself. Now when it comes to you know music as in like artists, Autumn is still fantastic, still great. She does have a few, I don't even want to say hot takes, but she has some stuff. So it's some stuff where I gotta like look at her just a little bit. It's a little bit weird. I gotta like scrunch up my face just a little bit. We was talking about one of my other videos, it was a few months ago, and 
<laughs> she might get mad at me for saying this. We was having this conversation and she was basically saying artists like, now I love these artists, it's not a diss. City Girls, Flo Millie, and Cupcake is saying that they are more influential than people like, I gotta say it a little quieter. She was saying that they're a little more influential than people like J. Cole, Future, and Wayne. And I was, and I was like, are you serious? And she was like, yes. And then you know, the conversation was just going on and on and on. So when it comes to music itself, Autumn's a freaking genius, bro. Genius. She can harmonize all the, all this, all whatever the vocabulary is. Masterful, masterful. When I, when it comes to artists, she's still great. I gotta, I gotta say that she's still fantastic. Sometimes though, but we all have our little hot takes. So it's, you know, it's all of us. But do I trust her? Yes, yes. She actually put me onto a few people, and we have a joint playlist together. And do I listen to all of it? Of course. For food, absolutely not. No, there's no way because that man's like taste buds, there's something wrong with them because he has to put salt on everything even when things are already salty. Y'all already know that he don't be eating desserts. He don't eat no chocolate, he don't eat no caramel. He eat nothing, no cheesecake, nothing. So y'all know the struggle that I have when it comes to trying to share a dessert with this man. I, I can't trust his taste buds. Food. Autumn is pretty good with food. If you ask her, she'll think that I do weird things. I like salt. Like she gave me the craziest look because I put salt on white rice. I thought that was normal. But in terms of her taste, I mean, everything is okay. I just don't like chocolate. So she'll be getting chocolate and then she wants to kiss me after. I ain't with that. So for food, her taste is, her taste is good. Her taste is good except the chocolate. How many kids do you see in your future? Well, I am an only child. So I would like to have at least two kids. I know Laurent has said multiple times that he wants four kids. In the perfect situation, this how it would be, perfect situation, right? Um, I would want four kids. Girl first, boy, maybe twins, but I want, I want two girls, two boys. That is a lot of kids. It's a lot because of like providing and loving them, but like a lot as in birthing <laughs> them. I'd be good with two. Then after they go to college, I'm very, 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 very fond of the idea of adopting. So if if that's what God asked me to do, I'll be more than happy to do it. Now I would feel like as a parent that I want to be able to spoil all of my kids and treat them as equally as possible. I mean, I definitely want kids. I definitely want mini miniature versions of us. So yeah. If you ask Autumn that question, she's gonna say, that she likes kids? From what I know of her, from this almost two years of talking with her? At least two kids, I'd be happy. Do I see kids in my future? Almost definitely. Without a doubt. Four. At least. <laughs> All right. How was that? It was good. I don't know how similar or how different our answers are going to be. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, very intrigued as I edit <laughs> this video. Uh, but that was fun. I like that. I like that. So let's come up with a number of uh, likes. If we get that number of likes, then we can start doing this normally when we see each other. And then they could give us questions in the comment section and we'll jot those down. So what's the number of likes we should shoot for for this video? 30. Okay. That's good. That I asked I asked for 50 likes in, my, in one of my vlogs and they gave me about half of that so 30 30 is a th i like that 30 is a good number 30 is a good number so that's right so 30 likes and then we'll do a part two next time we see each other and that might be in a few months um, other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video so go ahead and uh hit the subscribe button if we made you laugh or smile in front of the video you gotta hit the like button and stay tuned summer's not over yet i'm still i'm still on tour i'm still on tour a little bit we still go on a few more places i think um uh, they didn't give me enough likes so they still have a few more a few more a few uh, just a few more days to give me enough likes and then I'll, uh, I'll go to the weekend concert if they give me enough likes. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, go make sure to go subscribe to Autumn's channel. Please. <laughs> if she gets more subscribers, then she might post more. And we want her to post more. So go ahead and uh, subscribe to her channel. And subscribe to my channel, of course. Um, and turn on those post notifications because we still got a few more videos coming. We still got a few more videos coming before tour is over. And with that said, Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, we will see you guys in the next video. Okay.